My name is John Mortimer and the reason I'm making this video is work that I do is to go into local government and health services. I take out the elements of design and structure that are new public management and I replace them with something else. And I do this in a small part of the organisation together with the team. And what we do is we discover that we can actually create redesign those, those services with principles and ways of working that are different to new public management. The outcomes are spectacularly different. The design of the way that people in those services work is very different to what they were doing before. This is typical of what we found when we looked at the way that people worked. They were focusing on the structures and rules and processes and procedures that they were told to work to. This is what happens when someone phones them up and says, I want care. Is that person centered? It clearly wasn't. And what we do is we take end to end journeys of people that go through the whole system. This was the end to end journey of someone over two years. And then what we did is we started to work in the new way. And when we did that, we wrote those down on this whiteboard, all the different cases that we took. In total, we took 35 cases. And what I'd like to do is just to take one typical case, not the worst, not the best, but typical. And this is Len. And he came to us with some, something relatively straightforward. I'm having difficulties getting up from my chair and a couple of other things that can you help me with? So because we took him in the new way of working, we went to visit him and we left these behind. So these are the assessments that we would have normally taken with us. 68 pages of assessments that would have taken an hour and then two hours back in the office. We didn't do that. We just listened to what he had to say. And what he actually told us was a whole list of things that were quite confusing to us. We didn't know how they linked together. They were all sorts of things about his life, his, his relations, the place he lived. When we came back to the office, what we did is we took a flip chart paper and we mapped out what we'd heard and we started to link those things together. Then we went back to Len and said, Len, this is what we heard from you. And he found this absolutely amazing. He saw that everything was compressed into that picture. And his journey started 10 years ago. His wife died. At one point, he tried to commit suicide. He had a property that was left to him in Bristol. He didn't know what to do with it. And when he saw this and when he was starting to think about it, he realized that he needed to take control of his life and actually start to make the decisions that were going to move him away from where he was right now into something that was much more positive. In the new public management way of working, we would have done 14 assessments, seven referrals, 11 people would have been involved. It would have taken in total 12 hours and 20 minutes and we would have spent 25% of our time with him. What actually happened, there was one assessment, there was one referral, three people were involved, the total amount of time that we spent with Len uh, was 80% of our time and the total amount of time that we spent dealing with this with all of the three people was six and a half hours. And then what we discovered that the reality was he realized that what he really needed was to connect with other people where he was already staying and living. And that was something that he could do himself. So when we took 35 cases, we found that the assessments dropped 64%, number of people that were involved reduced 32%, referrals was down 41%, face-to-face -face time went up to 60%. We found that the old system actually created demands that would then repeat. So in the old system, we would have had 71% of those people creating new demands. And in the new way of working, that would have been zero. 
and how much time and resource would this have cost? Actually, the total amount of time spent was reduced by 14%. So in terms of how to change the public sector, how to transform it away from new public management, this is an example from the ground demonstrating what actually can happen. So from new public management, what we actually did was look at individual flows and, and work around those. We created ownership and we looked at the end to end and what matters to people. And we designed around the fact that the demand that comes into this is complex, like in so much of the public sector. Well, that was an introduction and I hope that this demonstrates that if alternatives to new public management were designed and implemented, it would have huge significant impacts right across the public sector. The interesting question is now, why can't we just keep on doing this? Well, I've been doing this for over 20 years. And how many redesigned services continue sustainably after they've been completed? And the answer is very few. Why? Because new public management has is everywhere. It stifles any type of innovation. It stops this type of work from growing. And that's the problem. We need that to be changed. In the description of the video, you'll see a list of a few more case studies that show this type of working. Thank you for watching.